Hello everyone, I'm Christina Werner. Welcome to another live stream here on my YouTube channel. In fact, tonight's live stream is the last one for Color Month 2024. So we're gonna have some fun with color tonight. I have some really fun things planned. Uh, before we jump into that, I wanna uh, alert you to the three links down below for three classes I'll be teaching in the upcoming months. I won't say much about them. You go, you can check out the links down below, but we've got Hero Arts in April. Uh, we've got C9 Summer Camp in June, and then we have the Brutus Monroe event in July. And all three of those still are open for registration. This is the last day for the Concord and Summer Camp, and I just have to put in a big plug for Summer Camp. It is one of my most favorite events to teach at. It is so great. They have so many fun things planned for this year. If any of you have been to Summer Camp and you're watching live, let people know in the comments if you loved summer camp. It's one of those just really fun events. Uh, there was a different Concord and Night class this last weekend and someone that was watching in the comments said, and I have to agree, that summer camp is a very different online event in comparison to other kind of events that you could possibly take part in. It's a lot of fun. I hope you'll check that out. So like I said, today is uh, the last live for Color Month, but we've still got two more Color Month videos left. We've got Wednesdays and Fridays videos that are coming up. But for now, we're gonna get into today's color combo, which is really fun. Um, we're gonna jump right into it. Simon Hurley emailed, uh, emailed me, he messaged me on Instagram and said, hey, I'm coming out with some neon lunar paste. Do you want to try them out? And they just came out, I think on Friday. And I said, yes, <laughs> do you know who I am? Anything that's colorful, I will take. So. <laughs> Um, they sent them, they arrived, and we're gonna play with them today. In fact, we're gonna play with these four in particular. That's why um, I've already opened them. These three I have not opened yet, but the colors are Dart Frog. Oh, that's funny. So these names crack me up. Voltage. Yeah, it kind of does kind of look like the uh, Mountain Dew color, doesn't it? <laughs> um, this one is No Chill, okay. So no chill, voltage, and I don't know. This one's voltage. This is, what was it again? Dart frog, dart frog, voltage, and no chill. And then these are the four we're gonna be using today and you'll see why in a minute. But the colors are hot mess. Oh, that's funny. That's a really funny name. Hot mess, mood ring, uh, yellow jacket, and tangent. That's a fun name. Okay, so this is what I did. I totally went to the Sarah Renee Clark color, uh, color catalog, volume two, and when you download the PDF, you can actually search by keyword, and one of those keywords is neon. So I looked at all the neon color palettes. Um, I wanna say they were maybe like 10, 12 different color palettes, and one stood out to me. And so we're going to be doing this color palette, which looking at the, the color card, the card from the color cube, doesn't look that neon. So I'm going to show you, um, let's see here. I forgot to add it to this. Hold on, it's gonna come in real big, but that's okay. I'm gonna move it off to the side. You can see that the colors up here when it's the digital version are actually quite bright. There, there's a little, there's a little more brightness to them. So um, I'm gonna take this little card and push it off to the side and kind of ignore it. <laughs> and we're gonna try to match the brightness of these colors up here. So this is color palette 317. Um, I thought these shades worked well with that. And we'll have to do a little bit of color mixing because um, that's why this color is in here. I felt like this color was closest to that kind of magenta-y up there, but it needs a little bit of this bright red in love. So we're gonna mix that to get that shade. And then this orange is just like a little too orangey. It needs to be a little more yellow. So we'll mix these together to get that more orange shade. This right here is spot on for that yellow. So then we'll just get a tiny bit of the orange mixed in to that one, right, right there. hello, I can't even do it, right there. But I thought this would be a color palette that given the solar, not solar, 
he does have solar paste, but they're lunar. The neon lunar paste, given the uh, seven colors that we have to choose from, these are the four that most closely match one of the color cube color combos. So, and because I'm live and we're gonna have to wait for these to dry, we're gonna do a few backgrounds and then whatever one I do first that's dry, we'll finish that into a card. So I thought this would be really fun to work with. The Simus' stamp, Funky Flowers. And this one I wanted to have the colors kind of overlapping each other. So this is one of those backgrounds that I'm going to do one color now and then I'll come back to it later after it's dry. There we go. Cause I just want to isolate that one flower. Okay. Got my baby wipe standing by. I'm going to take, I don't know, maybe that much. And I'm going to clean off my palette knife before I go into the other one. And we only need a little tiny bit of this. So maybe, maybe that much in comparison. Okay, that, I mean, it looks pretty good, but I feel like it still needs more of that red. It's kind of like a pinky red. Right, quite a red. Okay, but I think this is gonna change that color just enough. At least I'm hoping, because we don't have a lot of colors to work with here. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. Put that right over the top. I'm trying to get like a really even application. Okay, I'm going to peel this up really fast. Okay, so there's that first little spot. I have a container of water behind me and I'm just putting the stencil in that container of water and then I'll have to clean it before I move on. All right, the next one, this is one that I was hoping would be dry before we move on. So this is actually the Retro Arcs stencil, Retro Arcs from Simon. And this is from Simon's Stamp. Ooh, that's giving a really pretty orange. It's kind of creating this orange, but it's just a little softer, a little more red. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, we're just gonna get a little swath of this going across. Why not? I'm gonna mix this one. Yeah, about half and half of each color is perfect. All right. And I'm totally okay if these colors kind of mix on the stencil, I want it to be a little more psychedelic almost, cause you know, retro arcs. So I'm gonna take this yellow. This is so fun. It's messy and I'm really gonna try to not get it all over my fingers, but it's sure fun. All right, I'm gonna try to just fill in some of these little gaps that need a little more coverage. Like the paper starting to bow up because it's so wet. <laughs> or get the stencil off. Oh, I'm really trying to not mess it up. So I've got these two other stencils that we're gonna try. So, yeah, let's do this one first. Oh, in fact, I like that. I can kind of get it centered. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's get that centered. And then I can mask off those two edges. I love that idea. Scraper that you were just talking about and I wanna try something. Yeah, this little dude, like the big, huge one. So I'm gonna Add the yellow right up there. Clean off my palette knife. I'm gonna mix this really quick. Okay, pick up that pinky orange and I'm gonna put it right there. Clean off my palette knife. 
you probably could apply these colors without mixing and then do your mixing on your stencil. I think that's totally valid too. All right, and then I'm gonna add that purple right up there. All right, and then taking my big huge scraper And I'm gonna kinda go back and forth, sliding it to the side. And I'm hoping I can get a little bit of like a gradient. In fact, maybe I'll slide it diagonally each direction. Ooh, that's pretty, okay. And then while my paste is still wet on my palette knife, I'm gonna come to my other one and let's try going across like this. I'm really trying to mix it or get it moving. I'm gonna have to add more yellow over there and get more of this pink. Everything's mixing and looking different, so we're just going for it. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's just a couple little bald spots that I'm not loving, so I'm gonna try to get it with my other palette knife. In fact, they're mostly on the edge. Maybe I'll cut off those edges. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to remove the stencil from my first one. Oh my word, that's so cool. That turned out so cool. Putting the stencil directly into my container of water. I have a little smudge down on one corner, but not bad. See if I can pull it off without disturbing things too much. That looks so cool. All right, I'm putting that stencil directly in that container of water. And this one's gonna be set aside to dry. So now let's, you know what? I might abandon my flower one cause I, I don't think it's gonna dry in time for us to add more things on top. So I'm just gonna abandon that one tonight. It was a fun thought if I had more time to sit here and wait for things to dry, I would totally try that. But you know, I do have some of this paste that's like not quite dry yet. I wonder, I wonder if I could just we're going to get artistic. I just love these colors. They're so cool looking. It's like frosting cookies. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna set this aside to dry. That one will take longer. There's some really thick spots, but that's kind of cool. Oh, we do need to do greetings for, the, for these, so maybe we'll die cut some greetings. So for the greetings for the cards, I was thinking of these two die sets. There's the Scripty Thanks, that's a CZ design and Simon Says Stamp. And then we've got the um, pop art heart dies, pop heart dies from Concord and Ninth, just in different places. Put a paperweight on top of that. 
I'll just, you guys can see the text message, it's fine. Nothing on here is, you can call, I found a quiet spot, okay. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Okay, Good I'm gonna. You. I'm actually gonna like put my camera face down on the desk so they can see you. I'm gonna take me off screen. I can't take me off screen. Whatever, they're gonna see my camera. But there you are. Hey, friends. Hello. Okay, hold on. Turn the volume a little bit more. Okay, so we have questions. <laughs> okay. Sounds okay. Good. Okay, so we're waiting for our paste to dry. And okay. some lovely people in the chat said that you have advised people that it takes about 45 minutes to dry. Is this true? Yeah, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes, but you can use your heat tool. <gasps> I use my like Ranger heat tool because it's uh, like it disperses the heat a little bit more okay. and just keep it moving okay. and it shouldn't bubble on you. So Perfect. it should be good. Okay. Is that like straight on the top surface or do I need to heat from the underside? Um, I do a mix of both. So then if you heat from the underside and from the top, the underside should like help dry it too. If you add okay. a little bit of heat down there too. So I kind of, you know, do both sides. Okay. That makes sense because the underside, the top feels like dry to the touch, but the underside still feels cold. So yep. the underside would probably help with that. Perfect. Yeah, totally. Okay. And then someone else, I think I already know the answer to this question, but someone in the chat said, Hey, can I add glitter to this? So which which kind of uh, lunar paste are you using? I'm using the neon lunar paste. Oh, nice. Okay. So you can add glitter, but uh -huh. I wouldn't mix the glitter in while you're using it. I would, like, if you're using it, maybe use a glitter duster or, like, sprinkle it over the top. Okay. And then you could, like, have a little glitter on top, but I wouldn't mix it in because then you won't be able to see it. Okay. Perfect. Oh, because it'd probably get all obscured because it's a more opaque paste. Yeah. Yep. Totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn the, my camera around, and then I'm going to show you. See, this is what we did. Oh, I love it. <gasps> and that right there. And then, um, hold on, I have to show this other one. I was waiting for him to write. Here's another one. So, <gasps> oh, I love the marbled look. Yeah. This so, is so good. Are yeah. you, you're live right now on YouTube? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. You, you'll be in it. <laughs> I love it. Everyone's saying, hi, Simon. Hi, Simon. <laughs> hey, friends. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, I was. we're at NAMTA right now, but I'm in like some eerie hotel hallway that I found. And I was like, yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your advice. And we're having a lot of fun. And thanks for bringing us fun products to play with. Of course. Thanks so much, Christina. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Perfect. Phone a friend. Okay. So heat tool is safe to use. He said that he uses his Ranger heat tool because it disperses the heat. And it's also a little bit of a lower heat. So instead, I'm going to use, you know, because I don't have the Ranger one, I'm going to use this one, like the WOW dual heat tool, and I'm just going to use the low setting. Here we go. Okay, this one I think is just going to take longer time to dry. I'm going to dry the touch, but I can tell, that I can tell that these thick gobs of paste are just going to take more time. So I'm just going to set that aside. I don't want to keep heating it. I think it would not be good, but you know what? Uh, this is dry. And now that I know I can like heat set it, actually it's not dry. It's close though. Now that I know I can heat set it, I feel like I want to do the flower thing later. Okay, so I doubled up the vellum for this uh, because sometimes I feel that vellum, um, it gives a little ghost to it. It's like, you're just, it's just not opaque enough. It's too, it's too transparent, too translucent. So I find that just doubling up on the vellum makes it a little bit better. I probably could have just run all these letters through my Xyron. Now that I think about it, and then I can just peel them off like stickers. You know what? I'm going to do that. <laughs> I can use my little Xyron for that. Okay, so B and then E. Y, A, but now I can just peel these up like stickers and adhere them directly down. The only bad part about this is that if it's not perfect, it'll get stuck to that outer area. <laughs> So I might have to be really careful when I pull off the negative that I'm using just for placement.
but it does help you adhere things much faster than having to apply glue. That's for sure. Okay, then we'll just put that little piece right there, which is actually, I think, the interior to the E that's okay and then we'll figure out what we're doing with these four hearts in a minute here uh you're wondering about the news iron if it has the webbing with the letters uh i don't know let's let's test it out let's test it out while we're doing stuff these little things are so tiny i just don't know how well they're gonna like go through you know what i'm saying big enough to go through i guess we'll just find out Okay, it's pulling them through. I'll also put these hearts in. It looks like it pulled all, well, it looks like there might be some adhesive in the center there on that G, but I don't know. Let's see. We'll put that down right there. In fact, I'll take my glue, put it right there. Yeah, it still has the like little strings coming off. Oh, that's the wrong G. I'm like, why isn't it fitting? Okay. I think I'm gonna have to use my adhesive eraser when I'm done here, just to clean up any of the adhesive that's kind of like hanging around. Okay, so what I've learned here, as far as using the Xyron, these that went through the, the small little guy had less of the sticky things on them. Like the, they were called, you were calling it webbing in the comments. Um, but over here, these small letters had all the webbing stuff. And I think it would have been better just to put these small ones through. Um, but when I did the, the big vellum piece, it, like it worked really, really well. Like there was nothing sticking off the side. Like I think just, you know, also what is happening here? Did I not get any adhesive there? Um, so in that case, you would want to use the smaller one. So here are my three cards for tonight using the new neon lunar paste. Uh, check out the links down below. There are seven colors for neon lunar paste, so there's lots to still play with. I use with the warm use the warmer shades tonight, but there's also the those three other shades I showed you at the beginning: the blue, the green, and the like the the light lemony limey color. So there's lots of other colors as well. I'll also link all the stencils that I use today and all the different tools and the dies. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you all on Wednesday for day 11 of color month. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.